Alright lads, so today we're going to be reviewing Inform and the Herrera. Plays for Man United in Barclays Premier League. He's six foot tall, he's right footed, he's got high medium work rates, four star weak foot and four star skills. Looking at his in games, he stands out to his 90 short pass, 89 ball control, 87 vision, 86 agility and 85 attack positioning. We've also included all the upgrades of his non-inform as a comparison for you. So you can see each individual stat increase of all the stats. So you can always pause it if you want a close look at any of these. So this is the team that we're using here in uh, just a budget BPL side with a lot of his Man U teammates through in there as well. Including inform uh, Fellaini as well. And playing Herrera at camp. So now onto the gameplay so you can see how he was performing. Now Herrera is obviously continuing this run of Man United in forms. Obviously correlating with a great run of form in the BPL. Starting to creep back up there overtaking Man City. And it is deserved for Herrera. It does look decent on card. And he does have some great dribbling, agility and ball control in game. So he is cracking at getting through the defenders on the dribble. Feels really nice and smooth on the dribble. Does also have his 4 star skills as well. Actually I was surprised I didn't even know he had 4 star skills till I actually started using them in game. So that is a great bonus as well. So he does use his dribbling to open up some great positions in midfield. And obviously he can make use of his great passing as well. So he's great at finding space, making those little ground passes or long cross rail through ball great at passing has no problems picking out his teammates and runners so is a cracking playmaker has also got 87 vision as well so he is great creatively did lay on a couple of assists as well for our team and he can also get himself into some great shooting opportunities using that dribbling i gotta be honest looking at his shooting stats i thought they looked a bit iffy a little bit average but i gotta be honest he did actually find the back of the net quite well now his shots were not perfect they weren't the best but they still were found in the back of the net. Maybe we're getting a bit lucky with these finishes. Just don't try long shots with Herrera. We really did not get any on target. They were so wayward. Just stick to clear cut chances. Try and get the best position before you let rip with Herrera. Because he has really poor shot power as well. So he's not going to be finding the net from range. Now he does have a good 4 star weak foot. So he did also manage as many I think on his weaker foot as on his stronger foot. So a good left foot on him. As we said I think we did get a lucky with a lot of Herrera's chances chances he just was in the right place at the right time so just don't go into it expecting him to be blasting in the goals from cam and you should enjoy him so let's have a look at him for herrera's performance stats so in seven games he did manage to bag six goals and get three assists all stats are on the left goals are on the right position map shows you where his goals were scored and assists were created as well so overall, we're giving Info Herrera a great 8.5 out of 10. Now, he does make a quality midfielder, obviously, with his great dribbling. He's got an awesome creative game with his passing. does have four-star weak foot and four-star skills as well to go along with that. And he is great on the ball, as we said. Now, despite his average shooting, we still managed to get the goals, although I did say we did feel a bit lucky. So don't expect his shooting to be amazing. That probably really, really is his major weak point, is his finishing and his shot power. Uh, could certainly certainly be better so that area may let you down a bit with inform herrera now his price range is 23 to 35k which has just been updated which is really useless so it's only gone up 5k still impossible to find on the market not much of a change at all from his original so finally we're just going to leave you with inform herrera's positives and negatives so he was an absolute pain in the ass to try and find on the market EA, you better update the prices more often on FIFA 16, else you're going to find a lot of people just leaving and not bothering. It's just a joke at the minute that people can't be bothered to sit for hours macking that search button just to find a player they want to really want to use. It's so frustrating, it drives me crazy sometimes. Is recommended, of course, if the, yeah, that is if you can find one on the market. You can start making a nice little act of Man United team with a lot of the informs they're getting at the minute as well. So hopefully you did enjoy this review. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. Trying to grow the channel as much as we can. We try to do the most in-depth reviews as we can as well on YouTube. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Loads more to check out on the channel. Loads more to come as well. So stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers, lads. See you later.